Seriously, all hands on deck. It's full on chaos in here still. Next phase, getting her running. It's official, we're out of time, so. <laughs> and this dumb thing still doesn't run. We got a lot of things going on. Dusty's working on getting the transmission cooler mounted. We got the tabs all made there. Sits like that. I'm just gonna weld her up. That'll be one more thing we can cross off the list before this can run, so yippee. And then got Caden working on the inside. We're trying to get something put together for the seats. It's just gonna be temporary. We're still waiting on the roll cage. Cage is another couple of weeks out. Obviously that's not gonna happen before the off-road games, but that's okay. We'll have the headache rack to help protect me if I do something really stupid. Still worth more dead than alive. Uh, and then I've got Kian over here uh, getting everything wrapped up on the boom. We're just putting some uh, primer over the uh, bare metal spots. The boom's not going to get painted. It'll get pulled back off after we get back and get it painted. We've got new hydraulic lines on here. You can see one of the new ones there. The other ones are over there on the table to go on in a minute. And we have the electric pump for the boom and all the fittings to get that hooked up. Hopefully by the end of the weekend, all of that will be put on and functioning. And then I'm still working on this wretched fuel tank. This thing has not been playing very nice with me, but I'm getting closer. Hoping to have this all wrapped up by the end of the weekend. Well, I have to. So I might have to pull a couple of all-nighters to get it done at the rate this thing's been fighting me. If that isn't enough, here's our list. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Of things that pretty much have to be done. That's mostly what needs to happen. Oh yeah, and we still have this. <laughs> and we still have this guy too. You just covered some other ones. Oh, that, yeah, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll keep me from throwing myself into oncoming traffic. This is the list that needs to be done before the engine starts. And then most of this needs to be done before it gets loaded on a trailer in... 10 two, days. 10 days. I was saying two weeks, 10 days. Wow. Two weeks will be the competition. Yeah. Well, we'll be done with... Yeah. Well, we don't want to... Well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just get to work. Yeah, let's just move forward. Okay. <laughs> um, lots to do. Not a lot of time to do it in. And then uh, if you haven't already, make sure you get your tickets bought for the uh, off-road games. So look for this link and go check it out. Okay, well, I got to pick a project and uh, I'm going to get to work. And uh, which one do I want to do? Um, Something on this I'm, list. Here, let me, let me look. <laughs> let me look. Let me find one I want to do. <laughs> That's what I want to do. That's the one I'm picking right there. <laughs> Kian took it away. <laughs> Kian already took my now. <laughs> I thought you loved me. I never said I took your nap. Oh, I just okay. said I'm taking your nap away. Pull, pull, get the pull. Okay. All right, cool. That works good. I'm on it. Okay. I want to get that stuff welded. Cover the motor up, and then we can clean this up, clean those tacks up. Okay. And then we can run it. Be the seam sealer around it. Okay. And then probably DA this plate. And then we can mask this off and uh, paint this white. Oh, 
I am trying to make all these hoses work. That's the pump. That's where it's gonna go. We made this one hose wrong. We originally thought we could make these two work in conjunction to run one ram and these two to run another where it's top and it's bottom. So that one's wrong. But these hoses, we're just using these. We got the other ones right there. Then we have like a piece that will we'll cut this and it'll thread on there to have the other piece this screws to. Those are good. But we gotta get one other hose made because we told them the wrong length. I like it. I like it when a plan comes together. Yep. So last video or the video before? One video of the preceding before. videos, we showed you a great big radiator that I was gonna put right here for the uh, intercooler. It was a Civic radiator. It was gonna fit until we put the hood latch in. And so this is kind of necessary, kind of. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do hood pins right now. Once we got that put in, it was obvious that that radiator wasn't gonna work. So I cut it down. I cut probably a third of it off. So it used to go, it used to be a down flow, now it's a cross flow. So we weld, welded some new tabs onto it. Got a mount here, and then Dusty's gonna put the last mount in right here on this bottom corner, and that'll be done. And then, these just barely showed up. Oh hey, a bag in a bag, with a bag. But these are the bungs that'll weld onto the radiator. We'll use uh, dash 12 hoses on them from the radiator up to the intercooler and the pump and everything. I'll get those welded on a little later. And then while well, I've been back there in the corner, uh, banished to the TIG machine, that's what I feel like. Uh, <laughs> the Caden's been up here trying to get the seats on. Yeah. Comes up the back window, but we'll have to we'll have to uh, bend the frame on the seat. That's the problem with these old cabs; they're so short. Trying to get any kind of a suspension seat in them is nearly impossible. We'll make it work. I can hold that while you jump in. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. That looks about right, actually. Yeah, that's about right. I yeah. think. I mean, we'd always want the front to come up more, but that, that's not even not even an option. Yeah, so sure. we're worried about the height, looking through there, and then is this seat back at a comfortable angle? Yeah, it is. Well, it's as back as far as you're going because you're hitting yeah. wind window right now. You're sitting about an inch back through the back of the window, back window. We'll have to uh, pull the cover off. It just unzips, and then we'll have to heat up the frame. Mm -hmm. It's just like uses one inch conduit. Oh, okay. We can just heat it up. Bend it. Oh, we just bend it forward? Bend it forward. Oh, yeah. cool. And then we can okay. put the cover back on. The cover might not sit, sit the best, but whatever. What do you think of that bad boy? Nice! Man. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? What you doing? Trying to get this seat stuff figured out. You know, according to this block, that's too tall, but it looks pretty good. Well, well, even so, is that where it needs to go? On the block? Is yeah, that's where my dad wanted it. But even if you, even if you just let it sit where it wants to sit right now. I don't think I like it. There. I think I quite like that too. Do you want to? We could tack it. We could tack that right there and have your dad sit in and pretend like we. <laughs> Pretend like it's sitting on the block. <laughs> I mean, not Kick that on. Yeah. I like that right there. I quite jump in there. Actually, with a fizzer. Yeah. No, I, I'd have to imagine that's gonna be pretty dang good. Yeah. Like you, you got plenty of room. 
Does it even feel any different than it was before? Does it feel more comfortable? It looks more Actually, comfortable. Actually, it feels more comfortable, yeah. Your head doesn't look like it really gained anything. No, it shouldn't have, because these, these should be right. exactly the same height that they were before. Yeah. But it's funny, because it doesn't look like it's sitting through the wall. Like, before, <laughs> it looked like it was sitting back. I don't know. I mean, we'll still have to bend this forward. Right. But... but we already were going to. I would go with that height right there. Yeah, no, it I looks think it's a little more natural and... Yeah, I don't know. I'm laid out so nicely. I, yep. I don't even want to mess with it. So. Yeah, I would just make four of those. Cool. Okay. Winding down on the end of the day here on Friday. We got quite a bit of stuff done. Got that heat exchanger all done. I just got to weld those two fittings on there. Then that'll be ready to plumb. Trans coolers mounted. This lock supports mounted. We got a bracket here for the coolant overflow bottle that's ready to be tacked in place. And Caden's still working on the seat brackets. He's back there bending them up. This was just his mock-up one to know where everything needs to be. That's pretty much where it needs to be now. Oh, did you get the real deals going there? Yeah. Oh yeah, those look a lot better. Perfect. Yeah, those are them. We got this tube back. Good friend Jason over at Extreme. He bent that up for me this week in between all the other 8 million things he had going on. Thanks Jason, appreciate that. Well, I'm still doing a whole bunch of welding, so I'm gonna get back to that. I've never welded this much with a spool gun before, so it's it's weird. I've always done everything with a TIG on aluminum, but on this there's just no way to TIG it, at least on these baffles, and you can't see it anyway, so give it a go. Yeah. never seen a green weld before. Yeah. I think it's just all the way the aluminum burns that changes the color. Let's see. Okay, new day in the shop. Corbin's already found his new favorite spot in the shop, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Got the seats in his last night, so Corbin's got to try them out. Oh, Dusty's in the house. is going to be uh, build the console so we can get those shifters mounted. Get all the key pieces and have this thing move up there's the power once I get the day oh. thing running and get the fuel tank base. Still working on that tank. We would take milking it out, but that would take yeah. food. Well, <laughs> milking was like four days ago. Oh, okay, so we're <laughs> bypassed the milking stuff. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we flew by milking. I'm just making a career choice. There, there you go. go. So, <laughs> Let's do what you got. Uh, today's goals are to get this uh, console someone in, get some uh, up with the in, and get this head in craft uh, all put together. And uh, maybe do a couple of little logs in that TV. So we've got tons to do still, and so we've got that stupid deadline on all of us. We've got to get to
jumping around like he's a rabbit. Yeah, I know. Like he's a little 20 year old. Man, stuff sure getting done since Randy showed up though. <laughs> Get out of his way, he's hurting, guys. Yeah. You think you've been doing this every day for the last 50 years or something? <laughs> We need to put another one in um, at this level. Oh. So if you just carry this level forward, we're going to put another one in. Um, it'll be down an eighth because we're putting this over the top of it. Um, so the top of it needs to be flush with this? Yeah, because okay. that's that that deck's going to sit on there. There you okay. go. Okay, now, now you can keep that one. What? Got tons of tapes. Oh, tapes. Yeah, we have like 10 in the shop. We got, we got 10 footers, footers everywhere, 12 footers. That's what we use the most of, so yeah. it'll do any of the long stuff. So basically, it's going to be this minus an eight. I think it is going to come yeah. in right at the middle of that band, isn't it? It's, yep, it is. Yeah, because it, it comes in like a right here-ish, yeah. Yeah, it won't be that. It won't be too big of a Bring it down into here? No, because basically no. I'm going to put it at this level because I'm going to add another piece of eighth to fill this area in. Okay. That's where the pump oh, for the bed's going to sit. <clears throat> the electric pump, so we kind of have to have that. If we can get it cut to this length, then we can mark where the miter is and trim the bottom. Yeah. So. So right there. So you need to mark the bend. Okay, I just marked this one. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Corbin. Hi, You ready to fire it up. We got we Go for the drive. So, yeah, mm -hmm. so we should have a little drill. Yeah, I think looking in here. Got the key figured out. Yeah, you do. Perfect. There's a lot of keys in there. They just come with this, all those keys. Probably all the keys that go for like the camper and all that. Don't worry about that. Saturday today, so. Yeah, it's right now. Uh, we set this up on these vice grips. There's a big pair. These should be able to clamp, but we'll just set it right here on this one. Okay, and then clamp it on that one. Okay. And we can adjust it to where we like it. We can it. So let's drop it down on the vice grip itself. Oh. I think we'll pull the welding blanket off and then we'll visualize it and see what it looks like. So, oh yeah, that's going to come up. Probably this side went down a little bit. Just raise that up to an inch. An inch? An inch. That's good. We'll see this capacity. All right, it was right in the corner. Yeah, that's good. Let's raise this side up about the same amount. That's pretty good, yeah. Get the icrometer out, huh? Okay. I think that's pretty close. We'll take the oh, measuring yeah. tape. Oh, really good. Yeah, we'll check it out. So this intersection at the top of the road is about 49. Right behind the seat. Exactly. Walking heat. That's pretty good. You gotta get on the way, buddy. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay. You got it, Randy? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do some work. Yeah, I'm gonna do some curls. Yeah, yeah. That's where it does. You got a huge arm. Here, right? See? That looks good, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. Eyes. How's the... 
Is that, is that pretty straight? Well, that already looks pretty good. We'll, we can pull those out and get them tacked. Well, of course All it together. does. Okay. Why does he say right stuff here? like that? Right what did he say? Oh, that <laughs> kind of looks good. Like he's, like he's surprised? Yeah. Let's see how fun this is going to be. You want to just tap? Yeah, just tap. I think forward so, and backwards. Yeah, go ahead and put your hand on that. Go ahead and put the ship in forward. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead and go all the way down on the first. Yeah, I mean, it's. I got her. Do we need to go forward a little bit? It wouldn't be bad, like right there. Okay. All right, Which is kind of where we had our original mark. Okay, perfect. Let's do that. Then. Okay. What you doing? So we got some little tabs on this that Dusty and Tyson made earlier, and we're just. The weld to the tube that the seats mount to, then it makes it to where we can unbolt this. You can see the bolt right there, that little tab. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I nice. Side. It was terrible weather. Trying to teach the part of the B team how to work harder. Huh? Are you talking smack on me again? He's doing really well. He's coming along. He's coming along. Um, we're a heck of a good team. It's full on chaos in here still. <laughs> we lost Randy. Oh. Yeah, he had to go home and take a nap. Full frame. It's built. Now we're running the lines for the shifter. The high low. Finished welding up all the brackets for the seats while everyone's in everyone's way. 
Your so, main man, Caden, over here. He likes to make noise. He's working on the rack. He's doing a phenomenal job since Grandpa Randy left. And like I said, Chad's still milking out the gas. It's career. Yeah, career. career Randy. So, yeah, I, I'm paying into my 401k and and everything on this one. So <laughs> he said career ending. Yeah, career ending. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It might be here in about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we might get down to the record games, but we might have to use a plastic gas can at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I think we got the we still got the boat tank in Gonzo. Left. Oh yeah, we're good. We we're good. It's no big deal. You gonna work? From there to the dead center of the spaniel lever is 19. So it's just barely gonna work through that hole I told Bare, you. About. Well, if you move it forward driver's side. So what we're fighting here is this trans this is the cable for the transmission shifter and it's short. So the transmission shift lever is like right here. Oh, it's on the driver's side, of course, but about that far back. And there's this, and it's gotta go down. And we only have certain spots we can go through the floor because we got the transfer cases back there. We have the exhaust, we have the drive lines. There's just a lot. And so we have to go right there. That is the only spot. And it's just, Actually, I'm surprised how good it works. Yeah, I'm totally amazed too. I think there was a chance. We've been uh, running really hard. It's almost five o'clock, so we got a lot done today. Uh, Kean went home and actually came back, and then he went home again. We call him part time for a good reason. It's all good. Appreciate your help though, Kian. No, seriously, it is really valuable, everything that everybody's helping with in this last minute. Good. Oh, we didn't lose Caden. No, I thought... I'm Oh, okay. Like All right. Take a break from the stink and the smell and the noise and... I would yeah. assume he robbed your kitchen. No, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You can't go in the house without stopping into the pantry, so... Yeah, yeah. 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 All the seat mount stuff is fully welded and bolted in. This will get uh, finished up or redone when we get the cage put in. Consoles, the main base of it's all taken care of. We'll add a lot of other stuff to it in the future. Both shifters are in. The transmission shifter does work. Once we figured out the correct ride routing and it was just barely long enough, but we do have a good nice loop in here, so it should last. Transfer case shifter, we just need to connect the cables to the <laughs> transfer case. All of the brackets and everything are on the transfer case. The headache rack is more or less done. We still need to add probably one vertical piece through the window and a little bit of expanded metal uh, on it. Um, and it'll be ready to go in. A good start on the rear bumper. Yep, a really good start. Dusty's been blazing away on the rear bumper. Bumper. Only made with a bumper, damn it. I love the glasses. Yeah, she loves <laughs> We got some red good. tape. A really good start. That looks awesome. Yeah. By really good start, it's like ready to weld on. We just need to cut somewhere in the middle here and put a uh, receiver hitch in that. But we got to get the fuel tank in before we can weld that on because we got to put a nut plate inside the frame for the tank to bolt to. So why are we going to have Dusty weld the tank since it's taken so long? <laughs> I would happily add this <laughs> stupid thing on. It may on. not get done at all, but... Tyson passed it on earlier and said, if Dusty had welded it, it <laughs> would be done already. Yep. Sure he's right, so... <laughs> yeah, that thing... That's oh my goodness, that thing is a can of worms. Yep. So I got Tyson up there. Um, we brought in one of the fenders and, uh, and radiator support pieces. So I pulled the radiator support piece off. He's gonna fin it, gonna cut some more here, so hopefully the tires will clear. We can't go, hopefully we don't have to go clear up because then we'll lose this bolt hole into the fender and then we'll have to build something, but we'll start here, bolt it on, see what we get. Probably while you're cutting, cut that chunk out. That'll clean that up considerably. I think the fender is marked on the inside to do a little bit of trimming on the fender. So when you get that done, <clears throat> we can roll the fender over and see what see what that mark is and then do the same thing on the other side We're not gonna get the piece rolled in put in it, but well not before we go We still haven't finished building this stupid uh, tubing roller. So it's just about done
when we put the tube and stuff in there, it'll pretty much fill that whole thing in. So. Well, after way too much time, more time than I will ever even care to admit, I finally have this tank ready to, to finish up. Have all the structure done in it, and I have the baffles in it, uh, skid plates pretty well welded. I still have a little bit more weld to do on the side and a little bit more on the back. But I do have the lid all ready to go. Holes are all drilled for the setting unit there and the fuel pump right there. Once this tank finally goes in, we'll be able to get some fuel lines ran. Of course, we still have a couple odds and ends under the hood to take care of, but those will go rather quickly once I get this darn thing done. And for fuel pumps, I have I got this guy right here. It'll have a couple of 255 liter pumps on it. One will come on, be controlled by the computer, and the second one will be controlled by the pressure switch and the blower. There's the headache rack. It is uh, pretty well put together and got some paint on it. I still need to put some expanded metal on it and uh, maybe another brace in the back window area. On the truck itself, the uh, trans cooler is all plumbed. That intercooler heat exchanger is mounted. The exhaust system, muffler forward, is all wrapped up. Turned out pretty good. Transmission shifter cables in. I don't have these other cables for the transfer cases put in yet. So I'm gonna pull them out. Gonna have to uh, wrap them and insulate them because it's pretty close to the exhaust. But that'll be quick enough to do. Cross members are in for good. The fuel tank, we got bolted in for now. It's not quite done. I gotta pull the tank back out to uh, finish that right there. We can put some nut plates in right there inside the frame. That the tank bolts up to. So those are in. So the rear bumper can go in. Then we can get that rear winch in. There's still a stack of stuff to do, but, but we got a lot done. Wow, Chad must have got that primed last night. It looks good. If you didn't know it had been a motorhome with that cutout, I don't think you'd be able to tell. Caden did amazing work on that. Hey, check your subscription. Make sure you're still subscribed. Notice that YouTube's been unsubscribing people lately. Had a few people actually comment on that, so just want to make sure. Seriously, all hands on deck. We even got our friend in the witness protection program here. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking good though. And yeah. we got the doors done. And the fenders. Yep. I didn't so do that. Chad will probably be painting tonight again. One week away. In one week we will be at Sand Hollow ready to meet all you spectacular people. Anyway, so right now we are working on mounting the intercooler pump. It's gonna go right here. Go Go Gadget's got this going for me. So we're gonna mount that there with some standoffs and well, right, probably right there, so we can. So that goes there. We got the winch kind of started wired up. These winches come with a remote mount kit, so it comes like this with that sitting on top. But it actually comes with all of this with these cables that I think are about three feet long, so you can move it and remote mount it and get rid of that top. But it's really cool, compact. So we got that there. So we're gonna start running some battery cable out to the back to where the batteries are gonna go. That should take us a little while considering it's seven o'clock on Wednesday and Chad's off gallivanting, <laughs> doing his <laughs> gallivanting thing that he does. He's being uh, righteous. Church meeting. <laughs> Church meeting. Responsible for, Responsible his... for his flock. <laughs> Responsible for this next life. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so it's the, uh, I don't know what team the we're at now, show. we're just kind of, we're making things up as we go at this point. Well, oh, it's so half A, half I don't know. F. <laughs> F? Yeah, the F team, so. The AF I don't know what, team? Where I mean, you us. could do like a D minus, so I'm barely He's, pa he's passing. <laughs> oh, we're the AD team. AD team. ADHD team. Yeah. <laughs> ADD team, anyway. Maybe not the H. I don't have a whole lot of energy, so. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. Cheers. I'm back. Hey, I'm still wearing a weekday shirt, so. 
<laughs> I haven't done my Mr. Rogers uh, shirt swap yet. Oh wait, he does he does sweater swaps, so. And you don't wear sweaters? No, just hoodies. Zip up hoodies. I'm too fat to pull one over my head. <laughs> Dusty and uh, everybody's been kicking butt. Everybody got the cab all prepped, got the doors prepped. Right there. We got Blurry Man and we got our witness and protection Jr. friend. Yep, there. <laughs> uh, we got Corbin here. Corbin's here. Okay, other Corbin. Ken yeah, Kendall's yeah. been here this week too. <coughs> yeah, we've yeah. had a crew. Yep, and of course, uh, B team, Kian and Caden have been here. But yeah, we're getting a lot of these odds and ends wrapped up. Getting some battery cables ran. So this, this cable will run back to the starter. And then this cable runs up to the junction block right here on the cab. Oh, right nice. there. Did you add that? Yep. Pretty awesome, huh? And then, so we'll have cable run over to power up the fuse box and the fender. We'll probably have one from the alternator tie into either one of these, we're not sure yet. And then there'll be a bigger cable that runs from here back to the batteries. And the batteries are not mounted yet. So full <laughs> throttle sent me some batteries, but we haven't got them mounted yet. Hi huh, Corbin. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, you got your Santa shirt on? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> pump mounted. Intercooler pump mounted. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Uh, it is jump proof, right? You said? Yeah. yeah. Looks like it'll take jump, about. Jump rated. I probably take that. 10 or 12 G's, I'll bet. Yeah, so. oh, yeah I think so. I think we'll yeah. Yeah. Fully covered for Chad to paint it tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm still working on that fuel tank though. Pretty well wrapped up. Got the, uh, just gotta weld this bung in for the uh, vent. And I think once that's welded in, we gotta get the fuel pump in and the fuel level sender in. Let's see if I can get a lot of this stuff knocked out and all these parts need to be painted before I go to bed because tomorrow we need to get the headache rack on and then after the headache rack's on, then we can uh, get the boom back on. And the tank in and the rear bumper on and yeah, on and on and on and on. Winch is on. It's gonna go quick once that's done. Yes. Honestly, especially once we get yeah, once that's done, things are gonna move pretty quick, I feel like. I think so. Just cause yeah. that's a big... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's gonna start feeling like we're doing something and maybe we can build some momentum off of that. Yeah, yeah, we, well, we don't have any choice. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> we got to pick up some momentum somewhere. Yeah, it's starting to feel a little bit like a death march right at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. She will be at the record games either way. Yep, one way or another. One way or the other. Yep. And oh, hey, looked pretty good too. Kian got the hubs on today. Oh, oh the hubs? Yep, just some used ones I had kicking around. I'll break them and then I'll figure out what I'm really gonna put on them. Check it out. It's orange. Got them all done. Looks so good. So excited. He still has the hood to do to get that all done. But this way, he can get the headache rack installed and everything taken care of there. Get the boom back on. Next phase, getting her running. All right, Kian's got the uh, boom all looped up. Uh, we just got our hydraulic pump here that we got off Amazon and a bunch of lines that we had made. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Where's it going? What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... Just playing, huh? I'm pushing the up button. What does it do? Uh-oh. I'm a... Oh. Okay. Up button. Oh, that's the out button. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'll have to swap to where... Oh nice. Is that jumper pack low? It doesn't move very fast. Yeah, it's showing 12 volts. Well, when you're boobing. Oh, nine volts. Oh yeah, that's why it's slow. <laughs> okay, that's cool. What? Actually for nine volts, it's moving pretty quick. Uh, what do we got? Oh, that's up. Nice. It's about as far as I dare. Yeah, I don't want to wheelie it off. Yeah. 
That's it. it. That's it. Okay. It's just I want to make sure it's down all the way so we know where where we're at when we uh, set up the boom rest on the truck. They'll probably swap the ho swap the hoses to where it's up and down. Actually goes up and down, and then in and out. Actually is. Well, we're the so probably just need to swap the wires. We okay. just need to swap the wires so the because the hose routing is good. Oh, I guess that's true. Hose routing is great. We'll just swap wires. Yeah. Okay. You can see what solenoid light it turns on because they got LEDs on them. Oh, that's true. But that's that's awesome. I'm I'm excited to see that all work. Yeah. And not dump its guts all over everything. Yep. I was half worried that the one of the rams was blown out. <laughs> Yeah. But really, the boom was the only thing on the whole truck that wasn't completely destroyed. Well, that and the front axle that Paul took out of it, so. Yeah, the stuff we used. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I can play with that. I'll be ready to go on the truck when the truck's ready. Yep. Getting those winches installed? I got the winch all bolted, and it was actually surprisingly easy to get to these bolts, even with all... Here, I'll pull this out of the way. So, this is all enclosed. Where would he put those dimple dies? I think you get right up in there with that extension. That was super easy. And I'm putting this on. I thought it looked kind of silly like this. So I'm mounting it upside down. Because then it just, I think it looks cleaner. And even if it's on its lids, you'll still be able to read Badlands. <laughs> Let's not try that out though. No. So. No, I agree. But yeah. yeah, that's definitely an option. So, <laughs> You guys. Okay, another late night. What are we all doing? I'm pretending like I know how to drill holes. <laughs> <laughs> this thing doesn't like it though. <laughs> oh, I should probably set this up. Yeah, let's pretend. <laughs> oh, there you go. There we go. What are you doing, Dusty? I'm running some battery cable, or yeah, battery cables. Going back to the power, back to the battery. And Chad is still on his lifetime project. Yep. Maybe not lifetime, but career. Definitely career. Hey, I've done a couple of little things in between. Ends up till six in the morning painting that. But yeah, we're just pressure testing this. It's basically done, ready to go in. Yeah, yeah, finally. Week and a half later, it's been brutal. Corbin, you excited to hear it run? Yes. Yes. Who hey, is you it? Pizza all over your face. Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah, we just got done with dinner, huh? Yep. <laughs> Corbin's still wearing his. <laughs> he gets dirtier eating than he does working. No. <laughs> well, I do. And Kean and Andrew got the sound deadening stuff in. That's what I do. I was told to make sure that this was low enough that the gas tank could fit. So I just grabbed a piece of metal and grinding everywhere until it works. And Andrew was, drill was drilling a hole when he drilled his hole because he's going to put the vintage air in because, you know. That we're not going to use. Yeah. This yet. It'll just be there. It'll be ready. Just mounts <clears throat> in the, in the, under the cap so everything <laughs> on the inside will be done. Right? Yep. I think he's just trying to find stuff that he trusts me to do, which this is, might be a little over my head, but. <laughs> you know, I got all this stuff stuck on the floor. He decided to give me something a little harder. It might be too hard. <laughs> There's a lot of reading involved in It's a lot of pictures. The pictures are crappy though. You graduated though, so you can at least read. <laughs> that's why, yeah, that's why he's got you grinding. <laughs> and they are brothers, <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> now I'm running power to go with this to power up all of the relays, our power box here. And then I got to run a power for the alternator, which will go yonder. Get going. Perfect. Getting her powered up. We have been running like crazy. Had a lot of help show up. Big thanks to Scott and Jaron and Andrew and uh, Corbin and everybody else that showed up this week. We are able to get this paint taken care of. The fenders will just be a temporary thing. They'll get a, uh, we'll finish up the wheel opening here. But for now, they're painted and will look presentable. We'll get these all put on here shortly. But that takes care of it for this week. Till next time, remember, there will always be those who'll never see your value, but never let that person be you. Thanks for watching. Um, actually, we'll go this link right here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs>
Yeah. Robbie, here you go.